Halo selamat malam, saya Stephanie Dewi dari Surabaya Sekarang tepatnya saya ada di Four Seasons Hotel Jakarta Untuk menghadiri acara peringatan hari kemerdekaan Negara Republik Kazakhstan yang ke-28 tahun Eh teman-teman kita ikutin acara ini increased last year by two times to over 130 million US dollars and as for the 10 months of this year it has grown by three three times to 340 million from October the first Kazakhstan introduced a visa free regime for Indonesian citizens no doubt this measure will boost the bilateral collaboration as well as I would like to assure our esteemed Indonesian friends that the Kazakhstan side looks forward to the further strengthening of the comprehensive and mutually beneficial partnership for the sake of the people of the two countries. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, I would like once again to extend our sincere gratitude to all of you for joining us today and sharing our joy on the occasion of the 28th anniversary of our independence. Thank you very much, and please enjoy the evening. Thank you very much. His Excellency, Mr. Daniel Sarikano, Ambassador of the Republic of Kazakhstan to the Republic of Indonesia. Excellencies, distinguished guests, Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Selamat malam dan salam sejahtera untuk kita semua. It is a great pleasure for me to join you on this auspicious evening. On behalf of the government of and the people of the Republic of Indonesia. Allow me to congratulate the government and the people of the Republic of Kazakhstan for the 28th anniversary of the Independent Day at Kazakhstan. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Indonesia and Kazakhstan have been enjoying friendly relationship for almost three decades since the establishment of the diplomatic relation between two countries in 1993. Although our two countries, our two countries are geographically far apart, this step is not very to the close friendship of Indonesia and Kazakhstan. It is marked by the intensity of the action of peace and bilateral meeting held on the sideline of international forum by high-ranking officer and member of parliament of the two countries. The government of Indonesia was honored by His Excellency Kasim Yomat Tokayev's visit to Indonesia last year when he served as the chairman of the Senate of the Republic of Kazakhstan. Moreover, with the election in His Excellency Tokayev as President of the Republic of Kazakhstan and the re-election of President Joko Widodo this year. I am confident that the cooperation between the two countries will further the flow. While at the international level, Indonesia and Kazakhstan have cooperated closely on issues of common concern in UN forum and other multilateral organizations. 
I strongly believe that this will further elevate Indonesia and Kazakhstan relation to a higher level. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we are aware that Kazakhstan is the largest economy in the Central Asia and strategic gateway for Indonesia to play a greater role in the region while Indonesia is the largest economy in Southeast Asia. I am pleased to note that trade failures between the two countries has reached more than $200 million in the third quarter of uh, 2019 and shown a positive trend in the last five years. Nevertheless, I am of the view that Indonesia and Kazakhstan still have great economic potential to have improved people's welfare and develop human, cap human capital resources of both countries so that they are able to strive in the future. Furthermore, as one of the founding members of the Regional Economic Corporation, Indonesian Economic Union, Indonesia hope for Kazakhstan support for the expansion of Indonesian market access in the Central Asia. In this respect, Indonesia is very keen to encourage cooperation in various sectors. Indonesia and Kazakhstan also need to continue to work closely together in increasing interaction between communities and private sectors to explore economic potential of the two countries. Excellencies, distinguished guests, in closing, I would like to once again express my warm congratulations to Kazakhstan on the celebration of its 28th anniversary of independent, Independence Day. Allow me to express my sincere gratitude to Ambassador Daniel Sarikanov for graciously hosting this special occasion. And now I would like to invite the photographer to take picture of His Excellency Mr. Tania Sarakeno and Her Excellency the Yudhiya Kozi. Thank you. Thank you.
Soalnya lo makan apa lo?